Hi Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know it's a general reading and can be about any area in your life, all right? So really listen to the messages, your thoughts, your feelings, your intuition. It will guide you on what these messages mean to you. Uh, everything else you need to know is in the subscription box. If you want to uh, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all of that info is below. And with that, let's just get down to your reading. I'm pulling one card here for you, Aries, uh, for the center of your energy. And I apologize if you hear background noise because I just now hear the gardeners in the back of the, the house here. <laughs> okay, so bear with me here okay so we're gonna pull the energy around you now let's pull the energy around Aries what does Aries need to know let's pull the energy around Aries all right okay and then the final message it will be a note from the universe these are messages from the universe so we'll see what the uh, universe wants to tell you. There it is. All right. So we're going to uh, start here with your angel messages. Let's see what you have here. Okay. So you have something here that says, or a message here from your angels that says, not the right time, okay? So there may be a specific situation where there is timing. Maybe there's something here that you want to happen. Um, and it just, maybe it's not happening in your timing, okay? So take that one, how it resonates with you. But there's something um, in your life right now, maybe that you're wanting to happen, but they're telling you it's not the right time, okay? And I feel it's because there may be something else that's in the works, because the next card you have is opportunity, okay? So I feel like the reason why something is not working out or it's not the right timing, because there's a bigger opportunity coming towards you. You see, you you know the golden nuggets right falling out of the sky here it's showing me here that there is something else that is in the works that is coming towards you that may be bigger and better than what you want this timing around okay so it's positive here right and you know it's always divine timing we can't always uh, change it okay so let's see what cards you have here all right okay so the center of your reading here. So I really feel this has to do around home, family, a relationship is what I'm really picking up right now, okay? You have heartache and loss, okay? So it definitely feels like a situation that is, has been very hurtful to you, okay? This is this is an energy of something that's, that's heart piercing, right? And there's heartache. Now, it's something that has, has typically already happened, okay? So I feel, you know, it may be a situation that, um, you know, you've struggled with, okay? So you may have even struggled with this for quite some time because you also have here the Ten of Wands. It shows me there's some sort of burden, some sort of struggle here, right? And I feel like it's affecting the stability of the situation right here with the Four of Wands. So this may even affect your family. It could be around a relationship, right? Um, but it's definitely a situation where it has not fit, felt very stable or, like I said, may have affected other people in your family as well. Or, like I said, it could be a relationship that you were in, okay? You have here the Justice card, okay? Bottom of the deck here. I'm going to say for some of you... Um, this could be around a legal situation, okay? Um, or I'm gonna say here some sort of contract. Maybe you, if you were trying to purchase a home or rent a home, um, you know, maybe you didn't get that offer. I'm going to say, you know, that could be the heartache here. Um, but there's something here around home, okay? Maybe losing a home, I'm gonna say for some of you. You know, I hope that didn't happen. Um, there could be some sort of a financial loss, I'm going to say here with the Five of Pentacles, feeling lack, okay, feeling lack, feeling um, right that 
uh, it's almost uh, the energy I'm getting here is like it's like almost if it's a financial situation it's almost like you can't get to where you want to be right so maybe you're really trying to buy a home but for others I feel this is a situation where um, in a relationship there may have been neglect there may have been hurt this may be somebody who you know left you out in the cold I'm gonna say divorce some of you this could be a divorce situation okay but there's something here around timing right that didn't uh, work out okay and I feel like you don't feel that that this was fair to you all right so I'm gonna clarify um, the, the ten of wands and I don't know if I held that up or not but it's definitely a burden here but the burdens getting ready to be released all right, which I feel is bringing in this new opportunity for you. Let's clarify the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here, please? Why is the Ten of Wands here, please? Okay, we have the Tower. We have the Empress. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. It's reiterating what I set up there, okay? So you have uh, the tower here, okay? So I feel there's a situation, feels like a chaotic situation, feels like maybe you weren't expecting this to happen. You have the Empress here, okay? I feel here you're manifesting something new in your life here, and you have the Ace of Cups. That's that opportunity here. There's some sort of offer, other offer here that is coming your way. And I'm going to say here, there may have even been divine intervention, right? That kind of, you know, made you realize that maybe it wasn't the right timing. And, you know, I know that's difficult to hear because sometimes, right, we want something to happen. But I feel it's because there's some sort of offer. Now, you do have the Knight of Wands here. And I apologize again for the background noise. Um, Nine of Wands energy, I feel, some of you, this could be around love. So there may be a new person coming in your life. Uh, could be another fire sign. But I also feel like whatever this new opportunity that is coming towards you, I'm going to say is I feel like you're going to feel really happy about it. Okay, so... You're going to go out and celebrate. Once this new offer, this new opportunity comes towards you, I feel there's going to be some sort of celebration. Now, for some of you, if, like I said, if it's a love situation, you're going to be going out and having a good time <laughs> with somebody, okay? So, let me see what else do I want to clarify here. Now, the heartache and loss is also a card of healing. It's in the center of your energy. Let's clarify the heartache and loss. Why is the heartache and loss here, please? So you have here the hangman. You have the magician. The seven of swords. Okay. The six of cups and the wheel of fortune. All right. Let's see what we got here. So you have the hangman and you have the magician. Okay. And I'll put the seven of swords here as well. So, I feel that there was some sort of situation where, you know, you were feeling stuck or in limbo here, and I feel that through your healing here, you're going to start to see things from a different perspective. I also feel through, through a, whatever situation you dealt with here, I feel like you felt like you, you sacrificed a lot. Okay, you sacrificed a lot for this situation. I feel here too that part of your healing here with the Seven of Swords is also about you kind of picking up the pieces, right? You um, leave behind what you don't need and you're moving on. Okay, you're moving on to the next thing, right? Or the next opportunity because the next two cards you have here is the Six of Cups and the Wheel. Okay, this is telling me that whatever happened, happened, right? You, you, you were hurt over it. You're moving on from it. Uh, magicians is also, too, letting you know that you have all the tools and resources to make things happen in your life, okay? And with this Six of Cups and the Wheel, there's a new cycle here that's about to happen for you that I feel is going to bring a lot of, of, 
of happiness and joy. Some of you, I feel this is a love situation because I also get here the page of wands, okay? So there's some sort of opportunity here of communication if this is love for you. Otherwise, I feel it's a new cycle that's about to, to begin that you're going to feel more optimistic. You're going to feel more excited um, about this new uh, opportunity or offer that is coming towards you. Okay, so I feel like it's very positive, Aries. It may not feel positive right now because it may be something that you truly, you know, you wanted to happen, but you're being guided here to say that it wasn't the right timing and there's something bigger and better that is coming your way. So let's see here what uh, your note from the universe says. It says, you glow, we beam thanks and it says in case anyone should ask your heart isn't so large because of your wings it's your wings that are so large because of your heart sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy thanks for all you've shared the universe and p.s it's just another one of those nutty body algorithm things okay so uh, you know, it, it does come across here, right? You may have been treated unfairly. You may have a very loving and kind heart. Um, but the universe, um, your guides, your angels here, they're wanting you to know there's something bigger and better coming your way. Okay, so just hold on to that and stay positive. So Aries, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.